This is how we insulated our home. In the cathedral section, we did full spray foam. In the flat ceiling with the attic space, we did two inches of spray foam with 16 inches of cellulose blow-in insulation on top. In the meantime, we were really excited because our drywall got delivered and James quickly finished framing in the fireplace surround as heating and cooling contractors were up next. As James was busy tying up those loose ends, it was my time to shine and I started insulating and I was using R20. Keep in mind we already have 1 inch foam on the outside which acts as our vapor and air barrier. And then when you're insulating, don't forget your golden rule, fluffy not stuffy. Moving on, under the breezeway floor, we used R31 with an inch and a half foam. We gotta keep those toes nice and toasty. In the garage, we kept in mind attic airflow, so we added more vents to the eaves to allow airflow to come past the insulation, and then did ridge venting to allow the hot air to escape. To this day, we haven't fully finished insulating the garage, but it is on the list. In the basement, before James framed the outside walls against the foundation, we sealed it up with one inch foam to act as our vapor and air barrier, and to add extra R value. We were quite rushed during this part of the build and didn't get a chance to capture him doing that part of the framing, but when he is hanging the lights, you can see a little sneak peek of it. Once the foam was done and James was finished framing, I went in and used R12 to insulate there, and then for the walkout basement portion of the walls, we used R20 with one inch foam, just because those were framed two by six. Surprise, surprise, it was a very late night again to finish insulating, however we did get it done and the drywallers were able to come in the next day and they worked so quick, they had all the boarding up almost everywhere and they were ready for taping and netting. 
When we hit this stage of the build, it was actually getting really cold outside, so we decided to sell our trailer and unofficially move in. It was a very unconventional move as we had to make do with a Lego Baloo and just tarp over a bed every day, but we made it work.